Game two of the Bucks versus Sixers of the Eastern Conference Finals. We just spoken out that the boss beater made was Chris Middleton. I can't believe that he had just made a best game ever that he has cooperated. And for the most part, this is what he has always done for his teammate to get into the game. But now, Sixers need to find their way to get up to game number two in order to win or just get denied by the Bucks. Well, there might be a more solution out there, so let's find out what happens then. So this is why the Sixers are the first seed, or in the first seed playing against the third seed. It's because of what they have done here by the odd numbers here on the Eastern Conference, and for the following up by the most baskets that we just talked about it before, it was the Suns, Devin Booker, He's like a killer out there. He's just picking up his show here tonight. Not even to give up. But the most part of a game, he is not giving up his game. And if you are and if you are the only one that, that was here to make a better one of this game, you will not believe what happens. So, loyalty comp is the uh, ultimate of, of the champ, but this is what everyone was thinking about the 2K event, so you really need to know what will happen here until next season. So, it's time to go to Wells Fargo Center and start the day. Let's head to David Aldridge on the sideline and check out the part of Philadelphia where it all stand out, the part of this car. Thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel and B to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great. It's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, is David, strong, strong at that point? Thanks, Thank man. you. As of right now, we have just approached here in game two here in Philadelphia. We are trying to see who is going to make the next win here for this part of the game. There's nothing else to tell what just happened, but there is more what they have to do. So it looks like they're white. Let's find out what happens here if there's a chance for them to hit back in the game. So it's time to let this roll in game two. Bucks wins the tip off here as they are all fueled up and we're ready to go for the second game in Philadelphia. Starting off, Drew Holiday has making a drive here over this layup. He makes the first bucket here in game two. Simmons, he's out there by himself. Not able to be the best player to get in shape, but that's just happening. Sixer ball. Last touch on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, all right, stuff. They played it back in the last season, part of the playoffs. 
And that was on 2K Sports that was here. And this is happening here on the regular season. Not sure what's going to happen, but this is tough for them to hit the bucket for them to score. And yes, they did play back in Season 1 here as Giannis Anacuco smokes them out. But now they have to fight for himself to get the rebound and, and follow all the rules carefully. Let's see what happens here in Game 2. I know everything was okay, but not just enough. That was a foul on the Bucks. It's going to be on Brook Lopez, his first personal first team foul on Milwaukee. 6-11 remaining in the first quarter, and Simmons was doing a line to shoot two. He was never played out here before uh, once, uh, once this team was trying to make an answer out of it. But that was more of him of what he had. Shoot two. His first shot makes one in. And sometimes Ben Simmons, he's just trying to help out his teammate. Some, all of a sudden, uh, he was already injured that time, the last couple of the regular seasons here, before being on the postseason. This game was not even enough for him to score. He was missing out of each game, and so one of the doctors was telling him that he has a, has a lot of trouble working on his, working on his, uh, working on his shot. But this is what happens to him if he tries his best to get it right. So now you already know there might be more out there and there's a chance for him to settle things off a bit. We'll see what happens if Ben Simmons gets better for next season. Curry picking up a three-pointer. It will be off the mark. Giannis Mondacupo still on the run. Finds Steven Chenzo. Bucket out of there and he goes inside. He will pick up a two pointer again for the Bucks to score. Simmons. Last touch on DiVincenzo at six for ball. A little bad mistake here for Ben Simmons, but he has to be careful. Not be too much of proving too much again. Carry up. And now the screen is on Joel MP, but he gets around it. Tough shot for MP, but he makes, makes a miss. Finds Steven Chente. Makes a shot. Assist by Chris Middleton. He's picking up his first assist here tonight. Simmons, work his way around. Open shot. Harris, that's good. Tobias Harris gets his first one in. Assist by Ben Simmons. Middleton on green. Now it goes on Harris. His first shot missed him for Chris Middleton. All and over again, we have his Middleton. Trying to pick up a run. Green right to Ben Simmons. He goes right over this way. Simmons cuts inside and a foul. Goes on for Lopez. That's another Milwaukee foul. Ben Simmons will have to go back to the free throw line for the second time. And with this team, maybe he's trying to find a new way without being uh, rejected. Doc Rivers over there. He's the head coach for the Philly Sixers. And Mike Budenholzer would have to remind his teammate to get better in that point. And I know we're the champions here for the NBA Finals, so... I'm happy that the Bucks win the whole thing in the playoff brackets. And also helping out to take out the Hawks because I really do not like them. Uh, but it looks like Ben Simmons missed the first one. New change here for the Bucks as Brook Lopez is checked out. Bobby Portis is checked in. He only has received two fouls, but he needs a little timeout. His second free throw is good. Ben Simmons only gets one out of two of the free throws. Ogden DeCoupo against Tobias Harris. He tries to cut it in. Makes the drive. He picks it up his first run of the night. Curry right on the board. Curry right to Simmons. Back to Curry. Now he throws over to Green. Curry up. Simmons goes up. I see. 
Well, he sometimes gets around. Cordes missed the first shot here, and no assist running out by Drew Holiday. Here's Embiid. Eagle goes up to Simmons, right to Curry. Finds Danny Green. The jump shot. Good drive, but the shot was wound up again. Wrong direction. Looking over, Drew Holiday has blocked the pass, and Embiid will go out with the run. Danny Green with the shot. Free ball! Danny Green! Joel Embiid! First rebound, first assist of the night in game number two. Anacupo driving. Oh! Wow! What's up with that Greek freak? He's the captain part of the uh, of the Bucks. Now the first time I called up will be the Sixers. With 303 left. Looks like everything is turning out to be okay here on the starting lineup, but that might be hard for them to, to do it again. We know about game four here last season. I was just like screaming out already. And that's not what you wanted to do. If you have an open window, make sure you close it. If you're just talking on already, they can definitely hear you. You don't want, to, you don't want the neighbors to wake up already, don't you think? Nah, you better not. Everything else is turning out to be okay. But it never happened again. One steal for the Sixers, that was very good. Only one turnover for the Milwaukee. Five rebounds for Bucks, three for the Sixers, and only just about 50% here for the three points, three pointers. Here's a couple changes here for the Sixers and the Bucks, as George Hill is checked in for 30 hour player. Ben Simmons, Tucker Connaughton and Forbes are checked in. Steal on Forbes. He's going to come up and take a drive. And he goes one in. Five players are checked in at that point. D.Y. Howard, Jake Milton, George Hill, Parkin Corkmaz, and Matisse Feibel. Bounce past the Feibel. Over P.J. Tucker, as first shot doesn't go in there. Forbes turns around the other way. Finding a look open is Middleton. Screen on Tucker. Tucker right to Connaughton. Six and a shot clock. And he's out of time. Great pass by Connaughton. Forbes gets his second bucket as they are up by five. Middleton trying to get away with the defender. Only two, two minutes here in the first period. Shake, Milton, first bucket. They're up by three. Middleton once more. He's finding a look at a teammate, and oh no, he's not going anywhere. He just gets a dunk here to get the piece out of it. Howard trying to work his way around, and now to turn the other hand is Howard making a drive. His first basket is good. Forbes on Hill. Connaughton on Portis. And a first foul on the Sixers is called by T.Y. Howard. His first personal. Shooting two on the free throw line is Bobby Portis. Taking two shots. See? You can't hear them, you, you won't, it won't help you. One shot left. Second free throw is good for Bobby Portis, and now they are up by five. George Hill finding his built in. Looking over his hill. Korkmaz takes the first one. Rebound of my 5 all. What a play here. And now they got to try it again. Looks like D.Y. Howard's checking away. Three-pointer slightly off the mark. It was early. Forbes on Milton. With a three and a 
first three pointer goes out to Milwaukee. It's Forbes on the run. Bill trying to work over a bit. Finding his Milton. Over again. Finds Howard. He goes in the wrong direction. Milton on the carry. Finding his Forbes up again. Missed the shot. 30 seconds left for the first half. Bobby Corkmaz still has his way to get things in over. Up and overhead with the pass on Feigl. Finding over is Milton. Looking back, Corkmaz with a shot inside. That's good. Market Corkmaz, first bucket of the night. In game two, 10 seconds left to hear for the Bucks to score. You're looking for the first one to make the buzz beater or not. Shot is missed. Nice D here and final as Corkmaz doesn't hit the half court. Nobody has made the half court shot, so we end the first quarter. We'll be right back later after this one. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about you know what I need to focus on. Welcome back as we start off with the second quarter as Tyrese Maxey is checked in. He's going to start off with this first second game here to give it a try. And let's see how well he does. Power out for Brooke Lopez. A good D here for Brooke Lopez. He makes a, he makes a rebound here with the save. Forbes for three. That's good. No man is pressuring on Forbes. And nobody has covered it up yet. Finding up is Hill, right around Forbes, and showing him off here is Hill with the first drive. It's 26 to 19. Only 6.18 left to go. Drew Holiday still pressuring up a bit. Oh, good block on that pass, but a little deflected here. Not enough to get there. Holiday still up there. Screen on Brooke Lopez. Shots missed. Rebounded by Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons has his first second rebound here for the Sixers. Matisse Hill for three. Free ball, George Hill! Matisse, five ball. First assist of the night in game two. Brooke Lopez on D.Y. Howard. Moves up. Shot in and out. Simmons finding Hill. Great pass here. Simmons with the assist. Timeout, Milwaukee. 5.25 left to go. In a first half of this game, they're down by two. They're just pushing it up a bit. One play out there at that moment. I will sub out D.Y. Howard. I'm bringing Joel Embiid back in. Not able to stick a man out there. We're, we're, getting, you know, we're getting okay. We're still going to keep it going. Now the turnover has appeared here on the Sixers. One and one on the steal. Nine assists on the Sixers. Five on the Bucks. Ten rebounds on the Bucks. Five, eight rebounds on the Sixers. And a lead this far. It's the Bucks, 66.7 with a free point percentage. Also 55 percentage for field goals for the Bucks. And 100 for the, for the uh, field total percentage. Right now we're going to need to fix up the pep. New changes here for the Sixers and the Bucks. Now Drew Holiday. He will bring Forbes out and Connaughton in and Andre Nakupo and DiVincenzo back in. And on the other hand, all five players are checked out, but Ben Simmons moves to point guard. He's already on him at that point, so be careful. This shot opportunity here was the Andre Nakupo. Embiid is going in! Oh! He slammed it! Right on DiVincenzo! He turns it up! Joel Embiid! Well play on that one with the first one. Gerardi on the attack. He doesn't hit that time. It's Tobias Harris with the second rebound. Simmons right to Embiid. Embiid to Simmons. 
Yes. He rolls over to Perry. Over the hook. Free ball to Ryan B. I don't know whose assist was. I thought it was Danny Green or Ben Simmons. I don't know. You don't count me on that one. Jurane on Ben Simmons, and this calls a personal foul on Seth Curry, his first on the Sixers. And Connaughton's checked out, no bring back a starting five. He's taking a tough one here, and they're all back to the starting five. Anakubu on Harris. He pushes up, he's trying to stop on him. Eight the shoot. Right around him, and Ana Grupo picks a two-pointer. Right around the wrist, around Tobias Harris. Simmons, still trying to answer it a bit, and now he's trying to help him out to make his team get some courage. Finds Tobias Harris. Back to down to 10 to shoot. Hiding over Sixers is Curry. Curry with a drive, that's good. Curry has received five points in the game, and Simmons with the another assist in the game. That will be number four in the row. Girard still up again. And, uh, oh, it's tipped! Another steal here, another turnover on the box. Green, around it, in there is good for Green, he's got five. 33-28 is your score. We're not done yet with the first half, but the game's not already over. Girardi on Ben Simmons. He goes in the paint. The shot is tipped away. Simmons right on Green. Green right on Curry. Curry sharing it off to Simmons. Now he goes over to Green. Again, it's Simmons. Six on the shot clock. They're trying to get it. Get the shot open here. Danny Green up. Short. Not enough to get there. DiVincenzo. Fire on a Kubo with a two. Oh, he shuffled up there very well, Lee. But they're down by three if they pick it up another run. Simmons. Up again. Right on MD. Shot's good. Two minutes! Two minutes in the second period! Girardi on Simmons. He's driving up. And a well played defender on Curry. Girardi on Cole. Two on one. Rebounding saved by Green. But now they will change it up. They're going to need to restart from the top. They don't have much time because they're down to five. Curry, short on the reverse layup. Again, Middleton on Curry. The shot up. The shot, rebound, and he gets a dunk out of it. Timeout on Sixers. With 118 left, 35-32. Little defensive breakdown here, but there might be a change up here for the Sixers to bring it up back. I'll sub out to my um, Ben Simmons, and I'm going to bring that George Hill in, plus Danny Green, I will, I will uh, change it, I'm going to bring out uh, Batiste, Batiste Weibo, and Martin Corpaz, I don't know if I can bring it back in, but uh, I'll just do for a second right now. Six years have also bringing out the number one to make a make a make a lockdown here for Simmons. New changing here, PJ Tucker, Bordas, and Forbes are checked in for three players out. Hill outside. He rolls back to MB. He has to step back a bit without being three second on a call. George Hill on a drive and he goes down. That's gonna be another foul on Milwaukee. As Steven Chen to pick up another foul. Picks up his first. They stop the clock at one minute left. 
And yet, the head coach would have called it like, like, uh, what was wrong with the defense, bitch? We are not helping out. We have to close the gap. <laughs> George Hill will take two shots. First shot is good. I don't know why he crashed so down early, but uh, thanks to the, uh, to the floor cleaners, they wanted to keep the court safe without being, without being slipping. But more importantly, though, this might be happening on what they've got here. If you guys catch up to the Olympics here, you can check out the results here for the medalists for the part of the of the 2020 Tokyo. And you'll find out to see who has the most medals in each event. So we'll find out for sure. I love swimming here. I like one of each couple sports already, including basketball, which is most I'm devastated at this part, you know. And not a good one. Sixers is on Joel Allen B. His first personal has occurred. Second team foul on the Sixers. Well, it's taking a block out there, but it was too early for him to, to reject it. DiVincenzo shooting two at the free throw line. Shot's good. Of course, DiVincenzo really has an eye on him to keep it to keep it around the tight millisecond defensemanship. Not sure if I said it right, but uh, you might be figuring it out what could it be. And a second free throw is in for DiVincenzo. Sixers lead by three. But this time he passed up to Bible, right to Simmons, up to the MB, right to Hill. Three up. Three is out. No good. Middleton. MB watching it. Team Vincenzo missed that shot. Ten seconds to go. Ben Simmons still out on the run. MB with a jump. He drives it up and he goes up with one hand. Boom, boom, boom! Seven points in the game. Two on a run. Buzz Peter is knocked away. Sixers well played in the first half, but the Bucks still have time before they begin the second half. 39 34. Well, let's go to David Aldrich. Thanks a lot. Dwight, what are you seeing from your opponent tonight? That's our team. You know, they play hard, they play together, they move the ball. And uh, they, they know how to play uh, within the offense, you know. And uh, we've been doing a better job on the people's team. And tonight we came out with the right mentality. Just got to keep it up. Right, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Please stand by for the second half. After this. The way first half here as the Sixers are picking it up the pace, but looking for a forward is Forbes. He's picked up 10 points in this game. And when he's telling Yana Nakumbo about Forbes of playing for his last season, he never has gotten into his point. But it looks like Anakumbo has tied it up with uh, Forbes, 10 points on the run. And Simmons still has three, so he still needs to get more shots here in order to make him score. But that is what the decision is to make him to make a better idea. So here we are, second half, starting now. Embiid still on a run here. He finds up the Curry. Now coming in to change up the screen is Green. Trying to help him out. Simmons sharing it off. Points Green! Great pass here. Faint and a pass it goes. Simmons got five assists here in the game. Green has seven. Lopez on Embiid. All day on Simmons. Vincenzo, Mexic Berry, it's a two-pointer up again. We're just coming in right now for the second half, no worries. MB Brown Curry, open look. Uh, it was a little late at that point. He has to shoot in time and not make another miss. Find a Cooper to 
Vincenzo. And Curry got it. Middleton for three. That's good. Her picking it back up by two. One, one two. I'll pick so. Yeah, I'll pick so. They're down by two. You're right. Harris, right to MB. MB, right around over to Bias Harris. Oh, we took it by the Greek Freak. That will be the first block here in game number two in the lead. They picked it up. Bucks are out front. Bobby Drew Holiday has made another three pointer assist by Arana Kupo. Timeout on the Sixers. And now I'm setting up Ben Simmons. I'm going to bring that George Hill in. Making a new changes here. Pelicans on the run. I need the picking rules here to give it a try to help them out. It's very hard for me to do it. All right. I think that's all I have. And now a new change here for the Sixers and the other team for the Bucks. Um, still currently on the site. And Bede and Simmons are checked out. Howard and Hill are checked in. Hill up and again. Curry, we're able to help him out. He attends a look. And he's getting away at that point. They're up by three and they're still going. Five minutes to go. Another turnover on the Sixers, but this is when they happen sometimes. Hill, right to Green. Screen is not even forgiven. And a block it off the board. It's Middleton on the foul. Foul another one on the on Milwaukee. 4.47 still currently playing out of sight. Danny Green shooting two. I know the city jersey wasn't enough for them. But they might be out there if they can handle it back. Let's see what happens. First shot was missed off the wide angle. But now you'll take one more look at the head. He makes one in. Same thing like uh, Ben Simmons that made the first one, but now he makes the second one. He has one out of two at the free throws. Team Vincenzo on Curry passes back to Holiday. On a good boat on Harris. A rebounding save here on Green. The big half front down by two. Curry, right around. A little late. It was out again. Ida Cooper with the rebound. DiVincenzo on green. He goes up over Curry. Rebound on Ida Cooper and he puts it back. He still has another run out there. 12 on run score in the last two tenths of a minute for seconds. Hill. Foul again for Lopez. This is his third. Number foul on Milwaukee. The four three left. George Hill, what to tell them to just find an open man. Don't just go up front, front in the paint. Well, it's because of like the defenders are getting in the way, they're gonna need to try to like move already. Three fouls is on Brook Lopez. And right now George Hill will pick up another free throw at the free throw line to show Danny Green how it's done. His first one makes it. Yep, well play out there. Giving a little uh, really good relationship here for uh, from Danny Green on George Hill. But tell them how it the how the way it works. And see, that's what you need to know about the free throw. George Hill has only hit 11 points. And they're down by two. Oh no, why the Kubo? He's doing it again. I'm making history. 
14 points, 14 in the paint. Tied up. Up again is Danny Green. Finding the look. Hill on Curry. Three pointer went slightly early. Anacupo. Pass to DiVincenzo. Finding again. Anacupo. He lost the drive. The streak is over. On the layout run. Oh, what a D here for, uh, for Anacupo. He's just trying to stop it. And the number one in. Drew Holiday making another history on the run. And Anacupo making up another one. George Hill. Find a floppy motion out there. Finds Curry. I went on a screen. Two on one. Shot. Makes it in. Seth Curry with the assist. Dwight Howard. Second bucket of a DP. Two. Uh oh. Here it comes again. Yep, you know what's going to happen at that point. Ina Kupo is making a shot. Now the timeout is going to be called on the Sixers again. 2.35 left to go here in the third quarter. We're just trying to make it work here, team. We're going to see how it goes. A couple new changes here for the Sixers. And while the Bucks are still bringing back two players out on the, out on the court, Boris and Forbes are checked in. But Ina Kupo... Still not not giving up. Milton, tough shot, but he's not open. Ida Kupo, up on Tyrese Mexi. Forbes, great pass, and a foul reaches up on Matisse Feibel. That's the number six foul. No foul on the six or something. But shooting two for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton. Takes the first one in. Now PJ Tucker will check in for Don Recupo. I know you're smoking out there. Don't ask me. The real NBA will be better. Chris Middleton makes two free throws. 2-13 gone down here in the third quarter. Finding another run is Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Harris on B.J. Tucker. Shake Milton still out there. Two minutes. He made it to front. Oh, he made a shot and one. Count the bucket here. That's close foul on the first. 13 foul on Milwaukee. Black River seemingly like he's just, that was just a good play out there. And if this turns out to be an offensive foul, that would be a problem. Shake Milton, one shot left. He makes four buckets, two buckets, he's got four. But one to take five. He makes a shot. I think the team district is outside of it before they, before they move to being number three. We'll see what happens here. Change up. Oh, D.Y. Howard rejects the shot. We finally have a free throwing. And another one again. Tobias Harris reverse layup. Six points on a run. Holiday tries again. Great block here for D.Y. Howard. That'll be number one. It's in between Ida Kupo and D.Y. Howard. Now Howard gets his fourth rebound and check it away. Chris Middleton only has five. Tyrese Maxi. Right to Harris. Again, Maxi back to Tobias Harris. D.Y. Howard outside. Shot clock down to four. Howard shoots it up. Rebound was slightly off. Looking over again. Holiday shot is off. 
A safe rebound by Howard, number five. 40 seconds left. Maxey up. And there's their first bucket for the night. Tyrus Maxey. He's got his first one for game number two. Let's see what he can do. Oh, this is getting close. Go play on that run. And here we go again. The foul. They count the bucket. Chris Middleton making a number two. Tobias Harris runs up late. He's not able to pick it up at that point, but has to be very careful of what they've done. Milton and Howard, they're both doing pretty good. But they're going to need to try to keep going. Milton with only one shot. He makes a shot. And they're just trying to keep the pressure on. Simmons on MB. MB to Harris. They got that run. Maxi. Free roll. Tyrese. Maxi. Tobias. Harris. Harris is a close game here. 10 seconds left. Up for the three. Middleton. No good. Shot. It's going to be the end of the third quarter. 57 to 56 is the score. Sixers are trying to make their way here to win game two, but only one quarter behind. Will they win or Bucks take it, destroy it? Be right back after this. Time for a look here of the system of game presented by State Farm. I'm thinking the Bucks are looking over it again. We can talk about that. That Drew Holiday, Dante DiVincenzo making a nice split move out there. And when he gets there that time, he helps Drew Holiday and other players get to their get to their spots. And go right around the player. Round it in for like a cobra roll up and with a hill turn. It turns crazy. Not sure what they're up to, but here's another one. As Dante DiVincenzo really has it all strangled up. Now he gets another one, but he doesn't get there in time. Another, another miss here for the Milwaukee Bucks. And B, broke around in there, and it's up by one. Nine points for M.B. and the great fans are loving it. They love the process to be back, but do not switch to the other team. I dare you not to go to Miami Heat. Tucker, layup drive is good. But it looks like there's a report here. If Jeff Green signs it with the Bucks, then he's already gone and not be able to make to help out with the team with Kirkland. If Bobby Portis has checked in, is signing for his contract with the Bucks. We're not sure what's gonna happen, but there might be a solution in for himself if he can play with the Bucks for next season. We'll have to find out then. I know the secondary player was all good. He's doing really nice, but that's what he's thinking more and more over and over. And B on a drive. He lost the dunk. Oh no! Oh, and B, what happened? Divincenzo right to Portis. It just hit the rim. It looks like he was not able to secure the ball and then just dunk it from here. He lost the ball and he was out of control. So he couldn't slam it at the right timing. So yeah, it, it's another miss here for the Sixers. Open up Curry. Two. Three balls. And Curry ties it up by 61. And they should have challenged that call if it's a three or a two. Bucks are going to make another timeout. And I'm not sure if they're challenging it. Because of Steph Curry, he was on a two point, two, three point line. And what a count as a two. Hold on a second right now. Let's time out for a second before we get back into the game. Oops, sorry. Hold up a minute. Let's go back. Go back. And right here. There we go. 
So, so at that point, looks like Seth Curry was able to make his shot. Let me just minimize that here, close it and hide it. Well, let's take a look and see what happens to uh, Chris Middleton. Let's, I mean, Seth Curry with the with the shot. I think he was a little bit off. Y yeah, he was on the three pointer, but that wasn't just enough for him to just shoot it. Hmm. Ooh, this is a tough call. Ooh. That is tough. I don't think he was able to make that shot. Let's what? Let's take a look at the foot right underneath here. I think the foot right, right where he had it. I think he was very close. Let's see what happened. Yeah, it was a little bit off, and then when he landed, it was on a free point line. Hmm. There would have been a challenge on here, but I'm not sure if there's going to be one. Well, there is no challenge on a rule, so so they could have challenged that. Unfortunately, they will not do it at that game. Coming out to buy a Harris, I'm bringing up Bible in the game. And then for Danny Green, I'm bringing, uh, what do you call that? Perkin Corpons. Not Corpus. Are you kidding me? You gotta get it right. Very hard for them to settle things up a bit. A little pick and rolls here, they gotta pick it up. Just only a couple changes here on that game. Brooke Lopez got back himself in the game, only had three fouls in this one. But has to be more careful if he adds another one. Brooke Lopez, right to Holiday. Now it's Middleton on a carry out. Taken from the wing. Bounce pass over to Spival. Matisse Spival would have realized that Ryan Kubo would have made that one shot. But it was hard for him to strangle. And being making it out of three. And it doesn't hit that pointer. He was off and loose. Over again. Dante DiVincenzo, screen on Anacubo. Rebound out. It's Paul Pieball with the steal. Finding over is Curry. Bounce pass to MB. Trying to think about a steal. Oh, he got him. And on a loose out. Settling up with a nice D here is on Matisse Pieball. Two on one. Inside, shots good, MB receiving 11 points. 3.50 left, Drew Holiday on Simmons, blocked the pass, but he has the ball back. Alley oop, ooh, tough one, but that was another saving ball on Arna Kupo. Drew Holiday made a uh, alley oop successful on Milwaukee. But it seems like the Sixers are not picking up the alley-oops out there. But I don't know which controller it is for. It's hard for me to do it. I don't know. Batista. Free ball. Batiste. Five ball. They have the lead up by three. Three ten left. Middleton. He's trying to pick up his way. And still, he's not tired at that point. Because the screen was out. 14 on a run for Middleton, 8 for Danny Green. Simmons. Corpons with a 3. Free ball, Birkin Corpons! And Simmons, 10 assists. A crazy look. And it's Simmons with the block. Another turnover on Milwaukee. But Birkin Corpons. It's the dunk! You can't go wrong with Perkin Cortez, and he's delivering off of an exciting game, and their team is not giving up. On a back to back switch. On a Kubo, fairway shot, and it's good. Timeout, Sixers. 2.17 left. And on a Kubo, he's just speaking of himself. That he really wants to just open a teammate group open, but that's not hard for him to set down the ball. It's very hard for him to keep an eye on it. Well, tough it up for him. 
it's very hard to keep it going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring uh, George Hill in the game. And then I will uh, I'll make a new change here as, um, as I'm going to make another switch to hit up with, with this one. Readout Actix. Defensive board, but there's a lot more to get things done. Now let's check out the New Balance player of the game. This one for game two goes to Ben Simmons. Well played on that run. Ben Simmons, he only has three, but his last season was just better. Not sure what his run is, but I think it's still quiet out there. 11 assists, well played out there. I like to hear that. And here's Simmons. Simmons or oh, under two minutes. Two minutes in the fourth quarter. Girardi by Donald Dupo. Rebound by Simmons. That's number five in the world. Three right down deep. Harris holding over the hill. Hill trying to pick up a run. Round deep at and the shot is knocked around. Seconds left. Oh, and he gets a piece of it. Chris Middleton able to make another two five point mover, and he was going to try to keep it going on again. 120 left. Green outside. As then he rolling over to Simmons. Simmons work his way around. Six on the shot clock. Here. Hey, where's the 
Monkey song. We need to put it on. Well, copyrighted. Fans are all are all on their feet. And the beat is getting to make it loud, make some noise. Come on. Hurry second. is not stopping, but the only block here in the first half was out of Kupo. That was it, and the only one is like a stoppable on the run, and here's one more look at their instant replay, the process. Look at that. This is what he calls it, to save the day. Joel B. the process has not quitting. Now that's a clean defense on the run and try to go around him and pick up the run. Wow. What a play this is. How this turned out. Last time out on the Bucks. 24.1 seconds as Curry's check in and a starting five. But unfortunately, Ben Simmons is getting out of breath. We're going to see what happens here. Now we can't let the we can't lose the two on three zone or else the other guys are going to make him score. Now I'm going to need to have uh, auto because that was a good play for here for Joel Embiid. And he's doing really well out there. Well played. I love to hear this one. The Sixers are going wild out there. No timeouts here for the Bucks. And the Sixers only have one timeout to finish off the run. And here we go. DiVincenzo with only 20 seconds. Anacubo up. Missed the shot. Up again. Oh, he put it back. They're trying to fight the run. Simmons has the ball to give it out. Reach a foul. Personal on Anacubo. 10.2 seconds. Last one, and a one on two begins. Drew Holiday with the first foul and second team foul on Milwaukee. And yep, so as it goes, people like Boone Hillsburg will have to just wait and give themselves a break before they head to game number three back home in Milwaukee. As the Sixers are heading to Milwaukee for the third and fourth game. Simmons. It's the first one. Only the rookie heading up to a pro is not easy like before. And the new balance player of the game. Ben Simmons hits two. Nine points on the run. They're up by three. Holiday trying to figure it out. They wanted to tie it up. Lopez to tie it. It's loose. Six of First one occurs. Simmons has delivered himself with a great follow through and make it to achieve it successful. Yep, only one more to go. He didn't hit the first, but it looks like that's it for him to take the to take the to take the game for tonight of game number two. Send it in. Sixers win the second game. It's 78 to 74. Tied the series. 1-1. Well played on that run, but that before you knew it, they had it all. And now it's time to go to the court side to David Eldridge. Let's see what he has to say. David, it's all yours. Well, there is nothing anyway because we are out of time because, you know, there is nothing else to call with that, but I will have commentators back on next time on NBA Finals. So now you know before the Sixers have made their way to head to stop Game 2 
before they head to Game 3. Peace out, bitches, for us a while as the NBA playoff of the Eastern Conference Finals dial. And we'll be back here for the Western Conference Finals of the Clippers versus the Suns in Game 4. Right now, the Suns are in the lead, extending the series 3 0. If they win again, then the game's over. If they don't win, then the Clippers are heading their way to make the first win in the series and head to Game 5 back to Phoenix. So, we'll see them next time. Then anyways, have a good night and good night here of the brotherly love, Philadelphia. You probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.